It's Umsum time! What if Earth's core cooled down? Then I will heat it using my Umsum superpower! Oh, Umsum. Earth's core temperature is about 10,800 degrees Fahrenheit. Mm. If it cooled down, then there would be no earthquakes or volcanoes. Why? No heat means all the active volcanoes oh. would suddenly become extinct. Also, earthquakes huh? occur when tectonic plates rub against each other. These plates move because of the intense heat coming from the core. Now, no heat from the core means no movement of tectonic plates. Thus, oh. no earthquakes. Mm. Scientists believe that Earth's heated core plays an important mm. role in the creation of its <gasps> magnetic field. With no magnetic field, the following things <gasps> will occur. Our atmosphere will slowly but surely disappear as there will be no protection from harmful solar winds. Also, migratory birds would have a very hard time finding their destination. Huh? What if Earth was flat? I don't like flats. I like bungalows. Oh, um, some. Earth will not remain flat for a long time as gravity will oh. make sure it again pops up into a sphere. Remember, gravity pulls equally <laughs> from all sides, hence planets are spherical. Now, if Earth was flat and not a sphere, then it would obviously stop rotating. This will lead to the following oh. problems. <laughs> Firstly, only revolution around the sun but no rotation around its axis would mean that Earth will experience a six-month-long day, followed by a six-month-long night. Secondly, it is believed that rotation of Earth generates its magnetic field. Without rotation, there would be no magnetic field to protect us from the harmful solar winds. Also, it would mean an end to the world-famous lights called auroras as they are formed due to the interaction between Earth's magnetic field and particles of solar wind. Mm. Oh. What if we dig a hole through Earth and jump? Then we would land on Pandora! Oh, um some. <laughs> Firstly, the atmospheric pressure will crush mm. us. Why? Because once we go about 40 miles down, atmospheric pressure increases by about 1,000 times than that at the sea level. Secondly, no fire suit will be able to help us as the temperature at the core of the Earth can reach about 10,800 degrees Fahrenheit. Thirdly, there's a very high probability that once we reach the other side of the Earth, we would fall back again because of gravity. Thus, we will keep on oscillating like a yo-yo. Lastly, even if we were lucky enough to survive the journey, there's a very good chance that instead of safely landing in a country, we would end up in the middle of an ocean. What if Earth started spinning backwards? Then I'll eat my burrito backwards. Oh, listen. Backward spinning of the Earth is termed as a retrograde motion. Now, to understand the effects of this retrograde motion on Earth, scientists perform some simulations. In these simulations, the first noticeable change was that the direction of winds and ocean currents reversed, causing changes in climatic conditions. This resulted in a much greener Earth as the world's desert shrank from 42 million square kilometers to 31 million square kilometers. Hmm. Secondly, at present, rising level of carbon dioxide is contributing to global warming. But in the retrograde world, with more trees to absorb carbon dioxide, oh. the global mean temperature dropped by about 0.2 degrees Celsius, thus considerably lowering the effects of global warming. Lastly, the rainfall pattern also changed. As a result, the Great Sahara Desert and the Arabian Desert got covered in trees and grasses. Hmm. While never seen before deserts emerged oh. in southern Brazil and Argentina. Hmm. What if Earth had doubled in size? Wow! Will my burgers also double in size? <laughs> Stop it, umsum. The diameter of Earth would increase from 8,000 miles to 16,000 miles. <laughs> hmm. If the density of Earth remains same, then its mass will increase eightfold. Earth's gravity will naturally double. This will have major oh. consequences. 
Firstly, our weight will double. All the gyms will definitely see increased enrollments. Secondly, our bones will not be able to support our increased weight. Thirdly, our hearts will have to work double hard to make sure blood reaches all the parts of our body. Fourthly, birds, airplanes, choppers will all fall down to the ground. Fifthly, trees will not be able to stand upright. Most of them will fall down. Finally, if we fall down, it will hurt twice as much.